Welcome, dear seekers of wisdom, to a transformative journey through the profound realms of Stoic philosophy and the intricate dance of love. In the cacophony of modern relationships, where swipes on screens fuel our hopes for connection and the digital world shapes our perceptions of love, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of longing and introspection. In a world dominated by fleeting emotions and societal expectations, the Stoics beckon us to embark on a thought-provoking exploration. Today, we unravel the mysteries behind a question that resonates through the ages. Why shouldn't you chase love? Join us as we delve into the ancient teachings of Stoicism, a beacon of wisdom for navigating the complexities of love. As we navigate the labyrinth of emotions and the quest for authentic connections, we turn to the Stoic philosophers for guidance. Echoing through the ages, their wisdom offers not just a compass, but a profound illumination, revealing that love, far from being a pursuit, is a journey within. One that transforms not only the dynamics of our relationships, but the very fabric of our inner selves. So, dear voyagers, fasten your seatbelts for a comprehensive exploration into unshakable Stoic hearts. Why shouldn't you chase love, Stoic practices? Let the timeless wisdom of Stoicism unfold before you, and may this journey bring serenity to your hearts and clarity to your pursuits. One, love as a panacea, expanded. Welcome to Stoic in your life, where we embark on a profound exploration of why chasing love might not be the answer, and how Stoic practices can lead to a more fulfilling and self-sufficient form of love. In today's world, where the pursuit of love is often clouded by societal expectations and digital distractions, Stoicism offers a timeless philosophy that can guide us through the complexities of relationships. Join us as we delve into the wisdom of Stoicism and discover a path to authentic love. The notion of love as a panacea, a magical solution to life's troubles, is deeply ingrained in our societal narrative. We are often led to believe that finding that one special person will be our ticket to unending joy, a release from anxieties, and the key to the peace we've been yearning for. However, the Stoics challenge this idealized image of love. Stoicism, with its emphasis on self-discipline, authenticity, and introspection, teaches us a vital lesson the pursuit of love can lead us through an emotional maze, fueling hopes and disappointments. As Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, noted, it's a winding path, and we may find ourselves stranded on the shores of heartbreak. To transcend this emotional turbulence, Stoicism urges us to look within ourselves. The journey of self-discovery reveals a profound truth. Authentic love is not found in another person but within. It's from this newfound understanding that we approach today's insights, hoping to illuminate your path as Stoicism has illuminated ours. Let's delve deeper into why chasing love might not be the answer, and how Stoic practices can lead us to a more fulfilling and self-sufficient form of love. To the illusion of external fulfillment. In our quest for love, we often harbor the belief that it's the panacea for life's troubles. This longing to be loved is deeply ingrained in us, Yet we sometimes fall prey to the misconception that love is a magical cure-all. Society, through various channels like friendships, television and social media, constantly reinforces this notion, nudging us towards the idea that life is only complete with a significant other by our side. However, the reality of romantic relationships often tells a different story. Romantic relationships come with their own set of challenges and struggles, shattering the idealized image we might hold. Disappointment creeps in when our lofty expectations aren't met, leading us to a perpetual search for love even when we're already in a relationship. The Stoics, with their profound wisdom, teach us a vital lesson here. It's not the reality that troubles us, but our opinions and expectations of that reality. The belief that love is a universal solution can mislead us into thinking that our happiness is someone else's responsibility. Echoing the words of Epicurus, a Stoic predecessor, don't seek for everything to happen as you wish it would, but rather wish that everything happens as it actually will, then your life will flow well. The Stoic perspective enlightens us that, while love is an important aspect of life, 
it isn't the ultimate answer to our problems or conflicts. True, enduring happiness stems from self-discipline, authenticity, and introspection. It's about finding peace within ourselves rather than seeking it from external sources. Three, the stoic wisdom of love and relationships. As modern Stoics, we find ourselves navigating the complexities of love, particularly as men between the ages of 30 and 65. This segment of our lives is crucial, a time when the pursuit of love can become a consuming quest. Yet it is essential to embrace the Stoic practice of living in the present moment, a practice that brings us back to the here and now, the only place where life truly unfolds. The present moment, often overlooked and undervalued, is a treasure trove of opportunities and experiences. It's a stark reminder, echoing the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, that true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence on the future. We cannot rewrite our past, nor can we predict the future with certainty. However, the present is our realm of control, where our actions and decisions take root. By practicing presence, we learn to fully immerse ourselves in every aspect of life, finding joy even in the smallest pleasures. This mindfulness enriches our experiences. A meal becomes a feast for the senses. Laughter is a genuine expression of joy, and every moment is a priceless gem in the tapestry of our lives. This heightened awareness transforms our daily experiences, making them more vivid and meaningful. The significance of this practice becomes particularly evident in our relationships and the quest for authentic love. How can we forge deep, meaningful connections if our minds are shackled by times that are no more or yet to be? Living in the present demands strength to face daily challenges and authenticity in every interaction. It's about being genuine, not just acting the part. In relationships, this sincerity fosters deeper bonds and more fulfilling connections. In essence, as we navigate the complexities of love and relationships, the stoic wisdom of living in the present moment stands as a guiding light. It teaches us that happiness and contentment are not hidden in the shadows of the past or the uncertainties of the future, but in the rich tapestry of the now. 4. The pivotal moment for introspection. In the relentless pursuit of love, we often find ourselves entangled in a common quandary, pondering why love seems to elude us and why relationships crumble even when we give our all. This is a pivotal moment for introspection and a crucial step in understanding the profound impact of personal growth on our quest for love. The pursuit of love, more often than not, stems from a place of neediness, a belief that another person is the missing piece in our life's puzzle. However, the Stoics, with their profound wisdom, teach us a vital lesson True freedom comes from within. As the great Stoic philosopher Seneca once articulated, there is no favorable wind for the sailor who doesn't know where to go. This metaphor beautifully captures the essence of self-direction and purpose. Embarking on the path of personal growth is akin to setting sail on a voyage of inner strength. It's about confronting fears, embracing challenges, and choosing the road less traveled, the one that promises growth and self-discovery. Through this journey, we learn to accept our imperfections, communicate authentically, and build relationships that are rooted in genuine connection rather than need. Now let's focus on a transformative tool in this quest, self-reflection. This practice is not just about introspection, it's about understanding our desires, fears, and values. It's about looking inward to find what truly completes us rather than seeking it in someone else. As another Stoic philosopher, Epictetus, said, We have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Applying this to our inner dialogue, listening to our inner selves and understanding our core, we find that the pursuit of love transforms into a journey of self-fulfillment and serenity. 5. The transformative tool of self-reflection. The art of self-reflection is a cornerstone in the quest for genuine love. This process goes beyond mere silence and blank contemplation. It's an immersive dive into the depths of our thoughts and feelings. Such introspection is a deliberate act, a quest within oneself for answers that lie hidden beneath the surface. Through the lens of self-reflection, one can uncover recurring detrimental patterns in their relationships. 
It's a tool for confronting these patterns, exploring the origins of fears and concerns, and comprehending their persistence. The true power of self-reflection lies not only in pinpointing these issues, but also in equipping individuals with the means to initiate transformative changes. This journey of introspection enables individuals to address weaknesses, nurture virtues, and enhance the quality of their relationships. It acts as a compass, guiding them toward healthier, more fulfilling connections. As we deepen our understanding of ourselves, our clarity on what we seek in a partner and what we are prepared to offer in a relationship intensifies. Echoing the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, put your heart, mind and soul into even your smallest acts. This is the secret of success. Here we find a profound truth. There's a serene peace that accompanies the act of self-reflection. It's not merely a task, it's a pathway to inner tranquility and the foundation for more genuine, heartfelt relationships. In this modern era, where connections often feel fleeting and superficial, such introspection is invaluable. It's a guiding light, offering not just insight but also practical advice for those navigating the complexities of love and relationships in today's world. 6. Stoicism and the Concept of Manhood In the realm of Stoicism, the concept of manhood transcends the conventional. It's about nurturing personal growth, cultivating unshakable discipline, and fostering resilience. This philosophy guides us to understand that true completeness as a man is found not in external pursuits, but in the relentless journey of self-improvement and introspection. Imagine this. As men in the prime of our lives, between the ages of 30 and 65, we often find ourselves physically present but mentally adrift. We get caught in the tides of past regrets or future anxieties. This segment of our lives is crucial, a time when the pursuit of love can become a consuming quest. Yet it is essential to embrace the stoic practice of living in the present moment, a practice that brings us back to the here and now, the only place where life truly unfolds. 7. Living in the present moment The present moment, often overlooked and undervalued, is a stark reminder. It echoes the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. We cannot rewrite our past, nor can we predict the future with certainty. However, the present is our realm of control, where our actions and decisions take root. By practicing presence, we learn to fully immerse ourselves in every aspect of life, finding joy even in the smallest pleasures. This mindfulness enriches our experiences. A meal becomes a feast for the senses. Laughter is a genuine expression of joy, and every moment is a priceless gem in the tapestry of our lives. This heightened awareness transforms our daily experiences, making them more vivid and meaningful. The significance of this practice becomes particularly evident in our relationships and the quest for authentic love. How can we forge deep, meaningful connections if our minds are shackled by times that are no more or yet to be? Living in the present demands strength to face daily challenges and authenticity in every interaction. It's about being genuine, not just acting the part. In relationships, this sincerity fosters deeper bonds and more fulfilling connections. In essence, as we navigate the complexities of love and relationships, the stoic wisdom of living in the present moment stands as a guiding light. It teaches us that happiness and contentment are not hidden in the shadows of the past or the uncertainties of the future, but in the rich tapestry of the now. The common quandary of relentless love pursuit. In this segment of our journey through life, particularly as men between the ages of 30 and 65, we often find ourselves entangled in a common quandary, the relentless pursuit of love and the often unfulfilled yearning that accompanies it. You might have found yourself pondering, why does love elude me? Why do relationships crumble even when I give my all? This is a pivotal moment for introspection and understanding the profound impact of personal growth on your quest for love. The pursuit of love, more often than not, stems from a place of neediness, a belief that another person is the missing piece in our life's puzzle. However, the Stoics, with their profound wisdom, teach us a vital lesson. True freedom comes from within. 
As the great Stoic philosopher Seneca once articulated, there is no favorable wind for the sailor who doesn't know where to go. This metaphor beautifully captures the essence of self-direction and purpose. 9. Stoic independence and self-direction. Embarking on the path of personal growth is akin to setting sail on a voyage of inner strength. It's about confronting fears, embracing challenges, and choosing the road less traveled, the one that promises growth and self-discovery. Through this journey, you learn to accept your imperfections, communicate authentically, and build relationships that are rooted in genuine connection rather than need. Now let's focus on a transformative tool in this quest, self-reflection. This practice is not just about introspection, it's about understanding your desires, fears, and values. It's about looking inward to find what truly completes you rather than seeking it in someone else, as another Stoic philosopher, Epictetus, said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Apply this to your inner dialogue. Listen to your inner self and understand your core, and you'll find that the pursuit of love transforms into a journey of self-fulfillment and serenity. 10. The transformative tool of self-reflection, expanded. The art of self-reflection is a cornerstone in the quest for genuine love. This process goes beyond mere silence and blank contemplation. It's an immersive dive into the depths of your thoughts and feelings. Such introspection is a deliberate act, a quest within yourself for answers that lie hidden beneath the surface. Through the lens of self-reflection, you can uncover recurring detrimental patterns in your relationships. It's a tool for confronting these patterns, exploring the origins of fears and concerns, and comprehending their persistence. The true power of self-reflection lies not only in pinpointing these issues, but also in equipping you with the means to initiate transformative changes. This journey of introspection enables you to address weaknesses, nurture virtues, and enhance the quality of your relationships. It acts as a compass, guiding you toward healthier, more fulfilling connections. As we deepen our understanding of ourselves, our clarity on what we seek in a partner and what we are prepared to offer in a relationship intensifies. Echoing the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, put your heart, mind and soul into even your smallest acts. This is the secret of success. Here we find a profound truth. There's a serene peace that accompanies the act of self-reflection. It's not merely a task, it's a pathway to inner tranquility and the foundation for more genuine heartfelt relationships. In this modern era, where connections often feel fleeting and superficial, such introspection is invaluable. It's a guiding light, offering not just insight, but also practical advice for those navigating the complexities of love and relationships in today's world. 11. Nurturing Personal Growth Living in the present moment, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, invites us to focus on nurturing personal growth. This concept of growth extends beyond the physical into the realms of the mind and spirit. As men navigate the complexities of love and relationships, fostering personal growth becomes a transformative tool. The Stoics emphasize the importance of continual learning and self-improvement. Epictetus, one of the prominent Stoic philosophers, stated, We have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This wisdom speaks directly to the essence of personal growth, a process that involves attentive observation and receptive learning. In the pursuit of authentic love, personal growth acts as a catalyst. It enables us to evolve into the best versions of ourselves, equipped with the wisdom gained from life's experiences. As we grow, our perspectives shift and our capacity to love deepens. The journey of personal growth is not about reaching a destination, but about embracing the ongoing process of refinement. 12. Embracing unshakable discipline. Discipline, a virtue highly regarded in Stoic philosophy, plays a pivotal role in the pursuit of authentic love. It's the unshakable foundation upon which a man's character is built. In a world filled with distractions and fleeting desires, discipline becomes the compass that guides us through the storms of life. The Stoics believed in the power of discipline to cultivate inner strength. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, asserted, 
he suffers more than necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. This idea echoes the stoic emphasis on endurance and disciplined perseverance. In the realm of love and relationships, discipline translates into the ability to navigate challenges with resilience and to uphold one's values steadfastly. Unshakable discipline also involves self-control, a mastery of one's emotions and desires. This doesn't imply suppressing emotions, but rather acknowledging and understanding them. By practicing discipline, we gain the capacity to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. In the context of relationships, this discipline fosters an environment of trust, reliability, and emotional stability. 13. Fostering Resilience Resilience, a quality often associated with Stoicism, is a key component in the journey of love and relationships. In the face of life's inevitable challenges, resilience acts as a shield, protecting the sanctity of authentic love. The Stoics believe that resilience is not merely bouncing back from adversity, but more importantly, learning and growing from it. In the pursuit of love, resilience allows us to weather the storms of disappointment, heartbreak and uncertainty. Seneca's words, he who fears death will never do anything worth a man who is alive, resonate with the Stoic understanding of embracing challenges. Similarly, a man who fears the uncertainties of love may find it challenging to fully experience its depths. Fostering resilience involves developing a mindset that perceives challenges as opportunities for growth. Rather than viewing setbacks as insurmountable obstacles, the Stoic approach encourages us to see them as stepping stones toward a more profound understanding of ourselves and our relationships. 14. The Stoic Approach to Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence, a concept integral to Stoic philosophy, plays a crucial role in the pursuit of authentic love. It involves recognizing, understanding, and managing our emotions, as well as empathizing with the emotions of others. As men navigate the complexities of relationships, adopting a Stoic approach to emotional intelligence becomes a transformative tool. In Stoicism, emotional intelligence begins with self-awareness, an honest recognition of our emotions, and an understanding of their origins. Seneca's words, true happiness is digi, to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, underscore the importance of being attuned to our emotional state in the present moment. By cultivating self-awareness, we gain insight into our desires, fears, and reactions, empowering us to respond thoughtfully rather than impulsively. 15. The Importance of Empathy Empathy, an essential aspect of emotional intelligence, is a cornerstone of the Stoic approach to love and relationships. It involves the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. In a world that often emphasizes individualism, cultivating empathy becomes a transformative practice that strengthens the bonds of authentic love. The Stoics recognized the interconnectedness of humanity. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, wrote, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. This understanding extends to relationships where happiness is not solely dependent on external factors, but is co-created through shared experiences and empathetic connections. Empathy involves active listening, open-mindedness, and a genuine interest in understanding the perspectives of others. In the context of love, empathy allows us to connect more deeply with our partners, fostering an environment of emotional intimacy and mutual understanding. 16. Navigating conflict with Stoic wisdom. Conflict is an inevitable part of any relationship, and navigating it with Stoic wisdom can transform challenges into opportunities for growth and understanding. The Stoics provide valuable insights on how to approach conflicts in a way that strengthens the foundation of authentic love. Seneca's words, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, emphasize the importance of addressing conflicts in the present moment. Procrastination and avoidance can exacerbate issues, leading to deeper resentment and misunderstandings. By addressing conflicts promptly and thoughtfully, we prevent the accumulation of emotional baggage that may strain the relationship. The stoic approach to conflict resolution involves maintaining a calm and rational demeanor, avoiding impulsive reactions, and focusing on finding solutions rather than dwelling on the problem. 
Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, emphasized the significance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is beyond it. This distinction allows us to approach conflicts with a sense of clarity and resilience. 17. Building lasting connections. Building lasting connections in the realm of love involves intentional actions guided by Stoic principles. The Stoics emphasize the importance of meaningful, virtuous relationships, and as men navigate the complexities of love between the ages of 30 and 65, incorporating these principles becomes paramount. Wisdom, the first cardinal virtue, encourages us to seek understanding and knowledge in our relationships. It involves making thoughtful decisions, considering the long-term impact of our actions and learning from past experiences. By applying wisdom, we create a foundation of trust and reliability that strengthens our connections. Courage, the second cardinal virtue, is essential in facing the uncertainties and vulnerabilities that come with love. It involves taking bold steps to express our feelings, being open to vulnerability, and confronting challenges head-on. Courage enables us to navigate the inevitable ups and downs of relationships with resilience and authenticity. Justice, the third cardinal virtue, guides us to treat others with fairness and empathy. In love and relationships, justice involves recognizing the needs and perspectives of our partners and fostering an environment of equality and mutual respect. By practicing justice, we contribute to the creation of harmonious connections built on trust and understanding. Temperance, the fourth cardinal virtue, encourages moderation and self-control. In the context of love, temperance involves maintaining a healthy balance between individual needs and the needs of the relationship. By practicing temperance, we cultivate a sense of harmony and stability that contributes to the longevity of our connections. 18. The role of virtue in love and relationships. Virtue, a core tenet of Stoic philosophy, holds profound significance in the context of love and relationships. The Stoics believed that living a virtuous life is essential for achieving true happiness and fulfillment. As men navigate the complexities of love, embracing virtue becomes a guiding principle that shapes the quality of our relationships. In Stoicism, the cardinal virtues are wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. These virtues serve as pillars that support the ethical foundation of our actions and decisions. Applying these virtues in the realm of love and relationships creates a framework for building authentic connections based on mutual respect, understanding and shared values. 19. Embracing the Stoic philosophy in love. As we conclude this journey through the Stoic philosophy of love, it's essential to reflect on the transformative power of embracing Stoic principles in our lives. Between the ages of 30 and 65, the pursuit of love can take various forms, but the Stoic philosophy provides a timeless and invaluable guide. Embracing the Stoic philosophy in love involves a conscious commitment to self-improvement, resilience and virtuous living. It's about understanding that authentic love is not merely a destination, but an ongoing journey that requires intentional actions and steadfast principles. By navigating the complexities of love with wisdom, courage, justice and temperance, we forge connections that withstand the tests of time. In the realm of love and relationships, the Stoic philosophy serves as a compass, guiding us through the tumultuous seas of emotions and uncertainties. It encourages us to cultivate an inner strength that transcends external circumstances and to build connections grounded in authenticity and virtue. As men navigating the intricate landscapes of love, let us embrace the Stoic philosophy as a timeless guide, leading us to a more profound understanding of ourselves and the true essence of love. 20. The evolving landscape of modern love. As we venture into the concluding phase of our exploration of the Stoic philosophy of love, a discerning gaze is cast upon the ever-evolving landscape of modern love. In a world where technology, dating apps, and shifting societal norms shape our connections. Stoicism emerges as a steady guide, urging adaptability without compromising our foundational virtues. The quest for love in the digital age presents both opportunities and challenges, and Stoicism encourages us to navigate this dynamic landscape with a discerning mind, recognizing that while mediums may change, the essence of genuine connection and virtue 
remains timeless. In navigating the realm of dating apps, the stoic approach invites a mindful perspective. In an era where swipes often determine potential connections, stoicism encourages us to approach online interactions with intentionality. Instead of succumbing to the superficiality of digital platforms, stoicism guides us to seek meaningful connections grounded in authenticity and shared values. Technology, viewed through the stoic lens, becomes a tool rather than a determinant of our quest for love, fostering a mindset that rises above the digital noise and honors the principles of virtue. Societal norms, in a state of constant flux, reshape the dynamics of relationships. Stoicism, which emphasizes adaptability without compromising internal integrity, serves as a beacon for navigating these shifts. It prompts individuals to stay true to their values, resisting societal pressures that might compromise authenticity. As gender roles and expectations transform, Stoicism stands as a guidepost, reminding us to build relationships founded on mutual respect and understanding, irrespective of societal fluctuations. The Stoic philosophy also addresses potential pitfalls in modern love, such as the allure of instant gratification and the prevalence of comparison in the age of social media. In a society where external validation often takes precedence, Stoicism prompts an inward turn, fostering self-awareness and self-love. The evolving landscape of modern love with its complexities becomes an opportunity for Stoic practitioners to apply timeless principles, adapting without losing sight of the virtues that define genuine connections. As we stand on the precipice of concluding our journey through the uncharted territories of unshakable Stoic hearts, the wisdom of the ancients merges seamlessly with the challenges of our contemporary love landscape. Stoicism, with its timeless principles of resilience, authenticity and self-awareness, has been our guiding star through the intricate tapestry of love's complexities. The digital age's dynamic terrain, shaped by dating apps, shifting societal norms and the allure of instant gratification, has been navigated with a stoic compass leading us towards relationships rooted in virtue and genuine connection. In these closing moments, consider this not just an exploration but an earnest invitation, an invitation to embody stoic practices in your own pursuit of love. Take a moment to reflect on the profound principles of authenticity, patience and self-awareness. Aspire to become the architects of your own happiness, constructing relationships not on the shaky grounds of external validation but on the steadfast bedrock of self-acceptance and virtue. Now, dear seekers of wisdom, we extend a call to action, a call to share. Your thoughts, reflections and experiences are the threads that weave this exploration into a rich tapestry of shared insight. The comment section below awaits your contribution. How has Stoicism influenced your perspective on love? Are you ready to embrace a more Stoic approach in your relationships? Your engagement transforms this from a monologue into a dialogue, a communal journey of profound insights. But let this not be the conclusion, let it be a commencement. Subscribe to our channel and become a part of a community of like-minded individuals embarking on a continuous journey of self-discovery and wisdom. Click the notification bell to remain attuned to future explorations into the depths of philosophy and its practical applications in our lives. May your hearts remain unshakable your pursuits authentic, and your relationships be imbued with the enduring flame of stoic wisdom. Thank you for embarking on this transformative odyssey with us. Until we reconvene on the shores of contemplation, stay true to your stoic hearts, and may the pursuit of wisdom and love be eternally intertwined in your life's journey. See you in our next exploration.